hello and welcome back guys so still on this multiple choice thingy uh the problem we have is the these correct answer thingies down here so let's fix them the first problem we have is when i click on it uh, it doesn't select this until i click on the dot itself but that's not very uh, good we should be able to click on the thingy here and so to fix that let's just put the input itself inside a label so what i want to do here is let me type um label like this and then close a label here and maybe i could put a cursor and say style cursor pointer at least this is uh, num number B that I have done this to. So let me do a refresh. So when I get here, at least I get this. And if I click, it'll work. But here, not the same thing, right? So clearly this is better. So I'm going to copy this and do the same thing here. And then of course, I will close that label tag. So we should do the same thing here as well so that we don't have a problem on the uh, return ticket. And then of course we should do the same on adding as well. So paste there and let's close that label. I don't like it when uh, there's too many places to extract inf the same information. So. I should have created a function or something, but the problem is this is JavaScript, the other one is PHP, so no option at all. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, we just need now to know which of these guys was selected. So in order to know that, let's uh, first give these guys a value. So this one represents question A, so I'm just going to give it a value of A because this will be the correct answer. Then value of B on this one. Now, the tricky part is on this one. Actually, it's not that tricky because we know where to get the letter, which is right here. So I'm just going to copy that and give this a value as well. And just do that. Okay. So that be the value, cool. But then on the return as well, this one, we should be able to tell what the value is. So here, instead of just giving it a value, right? So let me just put a value here, by the way, which is exactly what's in here because this is the letter and that will be the value. But not only that, we need to tell it whether it should be checked or not. Otherwise, we won't be able to select. So let me show you this. If I refresh and let's go and add another choice. And let me select this one as the correct answer. So if I now save, of course it will complain, but you see the correct answer is gone. And that's not cool. But if I put checked here, like this then it will check at least one of them the last one obviously so save question it will check the last one but it needs to be able to check the correct one so if i had selected the first one here and say save question i'm getting the last one so how should it know that this was selected well remember that it has a value of the correct letter so all i have to do is put an if statement to see if this letter is corresponding to its value so here I will put an if statement to echo out the correct thing. So I'll say if, oh, so I don't need to put if there. I can just put the, the operator that we are familiar with. So this is the letter right here. So I'm just going to get this. So we're saying if this be equal to, maybe just two equal signs there. If it's equal to the post variable, now which variable is this? Uh, correct answer, right? 
correct answer since there's only one of these so correct answer there if this is true question mark two colon small small semicolon and uh, that should do so if these are truly correct then right here i will put the checked and then otherwise we'll put an empty string so let me remove this and let's give it a shot shall we so resend resend so you see now it's showing that if i click on this one save it's back on this one if it's this one or that one let me go back there there we go that one there we go very good yeah so everything is good now uh this one is a answer this one is b answer this one is the c so c answer this one is b answer yeah so let's save this so it's just telling me add a valid question but otherwise this has remained intact and the correct answer is c let's try b save uh, it doesn't lose sight of that so now since we have all this let's see what we actually have in our post uh, variable so if i go to now the single single test where we add the question so add question and let's come back here so if the validation goes well uh, we check for files mm. but before we even check for files let's check for uh, multiple choice actually we don't need to say anything uh, we just maybe we can say for multiple choice here and uh, this is where we are checking to see what the question type is hmm all right so this one is objective and what i will do is instead of just else here let me duplicate this i'll say else like this let's move this down and then copy that put it here uh, i want the result to be multiple so multiple so now that we know this is a multiple choice thingy um i think we don't need uh let's move that down here okay now sadly we have to do that loop again so let's go to the questions model and um i don't know if we need the num but let's just get it let's copy Earthing. Let's paste right here, like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, what's important is these letters to represent uh, the keys to the um, arrays that we're going to create here. Okay. So for each. Now, instead of data, we'll use post like this. And we're only interested in the ones with choice, right? So we don't care whether they're empty or not. We want to process all of them. So out here, out there. And we are not here to deal with errors. So remove all this. So if it has choice, then we know this is one of us, right? so what i will do is come here now remember that in the model itself uh, the column for this is called choices so that's what we need to add there so i will come down here and say um wait a minute right here i will say um, choices let me put it inside the post variable like this. So we're creating a new one called choices. And choices is going to be equal to an empty string like this. Okay, then we'll add the final thing in there. 
but for now actually i didn't even need this to be here what i can do is just say array like this so that's an empty array now what i want to do is once we get one of these so i'll look at choice and i'll look at the number so that's zero and then let's do something with it and then we'll increment the number so here what i want to do is say array and then the inside here will be a letter and then the letter will be whatever uh, space the number is as we've been doing and we'll equate this to whatever the value is at this point so i'm just going to do boom like so okay now keep in mind that correct answer is already being sent in the post so we already know the correct answer so that's good let's just make sure that correct answer is selected there as well that's okay okay so actually uh this should do it and then finally once we are done with all this then we are going to save inside post so we'll say post um, choices now keep in mind that there will always be choices for as long as you put choices here if you are editing the choices uh, this process will always need to happen so it's not like the image where if we omit the image then we don't save anything on this one we will always save for as long as we are editing and adding a new thing we will always save to this column so here we're just going to do a json we are encoding it for uh, transfer so we're going to say array like so so what this will have is an array with let's say letter a and then the value letter b and then the value and then once we are done with this we have to remove this from the post variable but uh, before i do that let me just show you what's happening so far so at this point uh, we're just going to tell it to die so that we don't save anything But then let's come back here and see so we have these answers in correct correct So we know this is the correct answer This the answer for a B and C. So let's see what we have. So save Okay the problem is that um, We don't have valid information. So we need to type the question. So Please, uh, uh, let's ask a question. What are female, uh, what are young goats called? That's the question, yes. And we have the choices, let's save. So we have died and nothing. So what I want is to show what's inside the post variable right now, because that's what is going to be saved. So back here, refresh, resend. So this is what we have. So we have choice zero, we have choice one, we have choice two. So this one, the choice uh, zero has that, that, and then the correct answer is B. But look at the column choices that we have this one is saved as json so it has gotten this and this and this data and saved it like this so we have a is this one b is this one c is this one so this is much clearer what's going on than this but then we don't need these guys anymore so we might as well remove them but we don't need to remove them because in our um, uh, model here we already told it what the allowed columns are. So it's just going to ignore the remaining ones. So we don't need to remove them. But in case you need to remove them, you can unset them right here in the loop. The moment you add that uh, item, then you can unset it here by just saying unset. And then the unsetting will be done in the 
host variable with its key so something like this so if i did this you will notice that uh, some of these will be missing now so if i reset uh, you notice that they're missing right so only this remains but for us it doesn't really matter so i'll just leave them there because at the end of the day uh the model will take care of that so that's all good and we are leaving them just in case we want to go back or something so insert and then let's save that so let's go back and do some actually this is all good let me refresh and let's send okay so what are you what are young goats code so it did save but we don't see the multiple choice answers because we haven't created a system to display that so if i now come back to test questions here i want to see what was saved in the database so if i come down and look at this so you see the choices are saved and the correct answer is saved here as well and we know it's a multiple choice uh, because it says so and the question there okay so so far so good we've saved our data now we need to be able to read that data back and also be able to read it back when we click edit so that it's editable here as well all right then so i'll see you in the next video where we do just that